Hey guys, welcome or welcome back to my channel. If you're new here, I'm Jamie B. Thanks for stopping by. So in today's video, we are going to be doing a declutter. Basically what I've done is I have already gone through my makeup collection for the new year and I have decluttered or removed the items that I will not be keeping and I just wanna share which items I'm not keeping and why with you. So if you're excited or wondering what I'm getting rid of in 2021, then go ahead and keep on watching. All right, so first things first, if you guys want to know how I got this makeup look or want to know what I used, I will link the video up here. I uploaded it yesterday for you to check out. But today, today, I did something a little bit different. So usually when I do my declutters, I do them in parts. And I kind of go through each drawer or each section of makeup with you guys. But I decided to do it a little bit different because I do want to kind of explain to you why I'm getting rid of things. I did see Laura Lee post a huge declutter and she sat down for like an hour and just explained why she was getting rid of things. I'm not going to take an hour, but I am going to be explaining to you guys why I am getting rid of all of these items. Oh my God, it's heavy. I decided to cut out the actual declutter part um, of me going through the makeup. I've already done that when I was cleaning my room. So, y'all, yes, let's do this. Okay, I think this is actually the biggest declutter I've ever done. And it's also uh, the biggest declutter in lip items I've ever done. And if you're not new to my page, you know that I love lip items. Lipstick, lip gloss, it's just... It has a special place in my heart, so it's very hard for me to let go of things, but, but I had to do it because I just have a ridiculous amount of makeup. And just as a disclosure, I do not just throw away any makeup. I think out of the entire bunch, I threw away two items because they were extremely gross and expired and I haven't used them in over a year and I would not give them to anybody. Um, and just as a reminder for those of you who are not new here, I do have two daughters who play with makeup. I also have five sisters. I have lots of cousins. So none of this ever goes to waste. So just as a disclaimer, um, and I also do not send use makeup to random people. I get a lot of comments about that on these videos and people be like, you know, send it to me. And it's not because I don't want to send it to you. I would love to, but just to keep me safe, to keep you safe, one, because of everything going on and germs, uh, and two, because God forbid you have a breakout or something, you could, you know, come after me for giving you bad makeup. So I'm just not doing that. I'm not doing that. So please don't be mad if I do not reply to your comments of asking for my makeup, but I do promise you none of it gets just thrown away or wasted. Here we go. So the first thing I'm getting rid of is the Pixie Summer Glow Palette. Um, I get sent a lot of Pixie makeup for free in the mail, but this palette was my least favorite um, just because I feel like I don't really care for the colors. They're just very neutral when it comes to blush. I'm a very peachy, pinky kind of gal, so I'm gonna give this away to someone who is more of a nudie lover. And the shimmers are just not as like high shine from space as I like, so I'm not gonna keep it. Basically, I went through and I was like, okay, I need to get rid of the things that are not my color, are not my thing, like the things I know I'm not gonna use anymore or I can't even use because they're not my color. So the next thing is another eyeshadow palette. This is the Bobbi Brown Couture Drama Eyeshadow Palette. I got this in a huge Amazon mystery box um, unboxing that I did and it's a very beautiful palette. It's a very expensive palette, but I just never used it. I literally only swatched this one right here like legitimately so i love these two colors and i know that the formula is probably amazing but again it's just not something i use so the next thing is the makeup revolution um palette this is forever flawless it is a mimic or a dupe of one of the huda palettes they're very beautiful they're very shimmery i mean like these colors i was so surprised when i swatched these and i told myself oh my god i have to use this palette like these colors the formula is so amazing and i never did it was sent to me i don't know if i said that and i have the huda palettes i have all of them so for me to keep this i just felt like it was a waste because i knew that i would never use it i'm going through the eyeshadow palettes first by the way and the other one, this one is old and the, this was hard to give away. So a brief backstory, I absolutely fell in love with Kylie Cosmetics um, when she first launched her brand. I still to this day think that she has some amazing makeup. I know that a lot of people hate her makeup for 
multiple reasons um some people say that it's it's not good but i have rarely had an experience where i have bought something that i disliked wholeheartedly from her brand um i haven't bought anything from her brand in quite a while i think the last thing i bought was the kendall and kylie collection because i do fear that because she sold her brand that it would be different um usually that's what happens when they sell their brand it just changes everything so i just haven't really bought anything from her brand lately but this was one of the first palettes that i ever bought this is the take me on vacation i will tell you i did use this one quite a bit when i got it and this one came broken so like this is missing completely i never had it the main thing that i loved were these three colors right here the blue the pink and the yellow it is a nice palette it's a good starter palette but I just don't reach for it and I just don't use it. So I don't want to keep it anymore. I have a ton of Kylie stuff. And like I think back to like when I first started buying her stuff and being able to just kind of give it away like I got this. Just give it away. Like it's just a it's a connection thing. And sometimes I think people don't understand like they think we just hoard makeup. Like we don't hoard makeup when we're doing beauty channels or whatever. Um, one, it's our job. So if you look at it that way, like we have to invest in ourselves. We have to have you know tools and equipment and all of that stuff so think about if you were a auto mechanic you're gonna have a bunch of tools to fix cars so it's like that so it's not that we hoard these things for no reason and sometimes we make a special connection like this is important to me because it was one of my very first kylie palettes when i first fell in love with that brand so i just i have to let it go i did not have let very many kylie things go because i do have a ton but i do really love a lot of her stuff but this one i know that i just don't use anymore so this is the next eyeshadow palette this is the urban decay born to run palette it's very big very beautiful the formula was nice the palette was nice i just don't use it way too much cool tone for me i am a warm tone kind of person so I really just was using like up in here and these never got used even though that they were really pretty. So the most I ever did was like swatch this and do one look with it for an IG, I want to say it was an IG story, IG video, like when they first came out, that's how this is. So I just don't use it. Um, So I want to get rid of it. And the next thing, uh, actually I just got and I did in a kind of like review of this brand on the video that I uploaded yesterday this is the one I actually used for this eyeshadow look this is the pop beauty fire fit palette um, I didn't like it so check that video out to see why but I am giving it away because I'm not gonna hold on to something that I know I won't use so it went right into this bag after that video <laughs> right up in here so, so the next palette is the Too Faced Just Peachy Mattes um, I gave away the white peach palette a while ago and I kept this one because I was like oh I'll use this one I love these colors I'll use this one and I really didn't like if you look at this I'm pretty sure I've only ever swatched this one I don't know that I've ever actually even used this oh, it smells so good though it's such a pretty palette like it is so pretty I just don't use it a lot of these things like I don't want people to think like oh my god like you're just gonna give people makeup that you think is garbage a lot of these things are really good items I just don't use them so they got to go moving on highlighters so this is gonna be all my highlighters I am giving these away these are the glow kit by ABH this is the sugar glow kit this is the Sun Dip Glow Kit and this is the Nicole Guerrero Glow Kit. This one should have gone a while ago when I did another declutter because I actually don't like this one at all. The formula, it's way too glitter. There's too much glitter. Like I'm just gonna put it out there. I love the colors, but the only one I like to use is 143 right here because it's like the only one that doesn't contain a crap ton of glitter. So other people might like glitter, but I just do not at all in any way, shape or form. So I'm getting rid of that one. And there's nothing wrong with these. I just don't go for my palettes. Like these are refillable, but I think they may have discontinued these. Obviously this one's too dark for me to use. This one's too dark for me to use. And these I've only used like one time. When it comes to like highlighter palettes, I really don't reach for them. So it was easier for me to get rid of these. And then this is the sugar one again this one had too much glitter this one had too much glitter and these two were the ones i used the most but i just don't reach for them anymore so two more highlighter palettes are the urban decay afterglow and i think this is the afterglow original and then this is the ons afterglow there were two different ones i don't use these i don't even know why i bought these they are not the highlighters for me they're not very 
shiny these are going to be more for somebody who wants a very subtle more natural glow um versus the kind of glow that i like like y'all know i want to be able to be seen from outer space with my highlighter so these just were not it for me and they were very powdery i will say that if you get these if you're one of my siblings or my family they're powdery so be careful so i have some highlighter singles up in here i'm gonna pull them out and then this is a single shadow this is also from the video and review that i did yesterday i just didn't like it so i put it right in here that should have been with the eyeshadows though all right so the next two highlighters that have to go are the dose of colors these are the desi x katie and they are gorgeous gorgeous they did an amazing job i really was obsessed with them and not these like them as in desi and katie when they did this collab i just don't really use these at all and quite honestly they're not my color so i don't know why i bought them so i'm gonna go ahead and show them to you they're just too dark for my skin tone they are beautiful but they're just too dark for my skin tone so i'm not going to keep them i kept them for a while and i'm like oh well you know i can use them as an eyeshadow no i don't so this is the mirror may and the chasing the sun and then we have the stila magnificence putty this is the heaven's hue highlighter it's a putty highlighter i just don't use it and again too dark for my skin tone so i thought it was really cool because it's like putty but i just don't use it we have a wet and wild highlighter that is too dark for my skin tone i don't know why i bought these things like i think i did most of them for like reviews and stuff and then i was just like why did i buy this this is not going to look good on me the next one is the becca shimmering skin perfector and this is in rose gold is a very pretty color it actually looks pretty good on my skin I just tried to get rid of as many of these as I could and I got rid of one um, to be fair the last declutter I did last year I got rid of a bunch I had like 30 of these so I'm down to like eight or nine so I'm proud of myself okay the next one is the Smashbox and Vlada uh, petal metal highlighter and I got rid of one of these before I had both of them I also got this as a review and it is very pretty on my skin but again it's just one of those not very shiny highlighters more of a natural so the last highlighters i'm getting rid of are the morphe liquid highlighters these are highlighter drops illuminator liquids um i got these again in a bundle to review and they weren't bad i just don't use them i don't really use liquid highlighters at all so i don't really know why i kept them as long as i did and again most of this stuff should have been gone in the last declutter but because I was like, no, I might use it. And because I didn't, I did not, we're getting rid of them. So we have a bronzer in here. This is the Morphe Glamour Bronzer in the shade Icon. This is actually my favorite bronzer, just not this shade. I got both of them in the bundle, the Glamour Bronze bundle that they did. And I did a whole review on the palette, this, the liquid highlighters, the lip glosses. So I kept the lip glosses. I kept the bronzer i got rid of the palette a while ago but this is the bronzer that i use and this is in mega star also this has a nail print in it so whoever gets this that's my fingernail um but i just don't use it it's too light on my skin tone it doesn't really bronze anything so i'm going ahead and getting rid of that i think for the most part when it comes to like collections i like to keep things together so like if i bought it together i wanted to stay together like i don't want to separate the children does that make sense but sometimes you just gotta do what you gotta do so the next two things are going to be setting powders this is the derma blend professional loose setting powder in translucent it just says original and then this is the revolution luxe baking luxury luxury baking powder lord help me talk and i never use this i think i opened it I got it for free it was sent to me no it's never been opened oh i think i'm gonna put this in a giveaway then i never opened this so i'm gonna add this to the giveaway that i'm doing i'll go ahead and link the giveaway up here but i'm doing a big giveaway that's ending on the 15th and there's a hundred dollar gift card involved and then the second place gets a box of goodies and this is going to be in it because i've never opened it so why not um but this is the derma blend professional loose setting powder i have opened it's not a bad powder but i just have so many powders and i honestly just got this because it was half off during ulta's like 21 days of beauty and i don't know why i did because i didn't need setting powder i have a ton i also apparently have a problem 
So the next two things I'm giving away are these concealers from Makeup Revolution as well. They are the Conceal and Define Infinite. I actually really enjoy these, but they sent me quite a few in different shades that just don't like work with my skin. They're too dark, so I'm not going to be using them. And then this one is a setting spray by Smashbox. This is the Hood Witch. Photo Finish Crystal Clarity. I got this from TJ Maxx, I think, during a haul, and I just have not used it. I have not, I have not used it. So I'm not gonna use it, and I know I'm not. They're gonna win. So then the last things for makeup wise, because everything else is like lipstick or lip items. So these are the face primers by e.l.f. I have the white one is mineral infused face primer, prime to go, prime on the go. And then the other one is a hydrating face primer. Um, I'm not going to use these. I don't, there's nothing wrong with them. I don't know if I've ever actually used these. I got them in like a cute little Christmas bundle last year when everything went like 75% off. So I got the whole bundle, the primer that everybody was using and comparing to Tatcha and two of these. So you got all three primers for like $3 and I bought like six sets. I don't need this many primers when I have a crap ton of primers. So I know that I'm not going to use them. So I'm going to send them on their way. So the last item, it's a ton, but it's lip items. So I'm going to try to be fairly quick so we're not here for 30 days going through 40 lipsticks. So the first thing is going to be this heart color splash or something like that. Yeah, color splash lipstick in pink lemonade. It is just extremely way too pale. Um, I'm not proud of myself because I will tell you I bought all 24 of these they launched and I bought them all and it cost me like 500 and some dollars and I just never really used them and to be honest I haven't really used the other colors either but I like to tell myself I'm going to but that one is just way too light so well, my daughters took a couple before that were way too light and I think I've gotten rid of maybe a couple so I wish I would have gotten rid of more of them but I just couldn't they took me so long to get rid of because look how pretty they are like they're so pretty so if I display them on a collection like they're just like they're so pretty I know no problem the next two things are Urban Decay lipsticks and it is in Rapture and Miss Mia Wallace um, it's just a red and it's just a mauve color. I don't have anything against them. I just don't use them. Um, some lip glosses. Busy Gal Gloss from Tarte. Run This to uh, Run This Town and 9 to 5. I got these. I think they were on like a sale or something. So they were on like a sale or something at Ulta and um, I just don't use them. So the next one is a Fenty Matte Liquid Lipstick and this is in the shade Unbutton. This is her, what is this called? Stun a Lip Paint. Um, I love her liquid lips, but I did not realize how light this was until I got it to the house and then I tried it on. I've literally only ever tried this on. I've never actually used it and this is a very expensive lipstick. Um, and I just didn't like the color on my skin tone, so I don't use it. So she's gotta go. The Ciate Patent Pout, again, not my lip color. I have a Marc Jacobs. This is the hot, hot, hot high shine. I just don't use it. It's supposed to be like a really, really pigmented lip gloss, and it is. I just don't use it. A Milani. This is Bahama Beige. I This is probably the only drugstore lipstick I have in my collection, and... I'm not really certain um, where it came from. I don't know. I have no idea. Um, I don't have anything against drugstore lipsticks, but I just don't know where it came from. I think maybe like a mystery makeup box or something. I don't know. These two were pretty hard to get rid of too. Um, they are Kylie Cosmetics liquid lipsticks and this is in the shade Penelope and Libra. Honestly, I could probably get rid of a lot more of these. I have like 86 of them. Um, they're hard to part with because they are my favorite liquid lipsticks. But these shades are just extremely way too pale and when I put them on, like they just... They don't flatter me, so I'm getting rid of them. But it was very hard because it is my favorite and I do have so many and I'm just like, I want to keep them all my life forever, but I can't. So they went, they went. They were Most of these lipsticks, they're fine. They're just too light for my skin. And I was like, why am I buying? Why am I keeping this? So we have a Zoella and ColourPop liquid lip. I just don't use it. I have a million reds. 
Um, the Ultra Matte Lip for Kathleen Lights and ColourPop. I just, again, I don't use it. Another ColourPop, which is the I Love Sarahi in ColourPop. Don't use it. Most of my ColourPop, this is all I have left of ColourPop Liquid Lips. Um, I just find for my lips, they are way too dry. Uh, my lips are very peely, very cracky. I know a lot of people like to say Kylie's are really dry, but I've never had that issue with Kylie's. Like they are definitely matte, but I've never had the issue of like super drying, crusty, cracky looking where ColourPop gives that to me. So I would rather them go to somebody who has more of an oily lip or a smoother lip that can wear these and it look flattering and not like someone's butthole. Just saying. Another ColourPop, this is the ColourPop and Bretman Rock, and this is in the shade She Cute. Um, this one is from, I don't know what company this was from. This was from uh, Pretty Zombie Cosmetics, there's two of them. I really, really like this brand. I really, really liked these lipsticks. However, um, this one, started to really start to change colors if you see here like even stirring it up it's just not mixing and it's kind of like freaking me out so i just decided she was gonna go because she's going in the trash though she's not being given away and then this one is another one from that same company uh i just don't use it i think it's a very beautiful color just when it comes to like these berry purples i have so many so many so I'm getting rid of her uh Tardis lip paint I just I've had this forever and I just don't use it it's a shiny shimmery lip gloss um this one was hard to get rid of too I'm not gonna lie uh it is a Laura Lee liquid lipstick in the shade Cabana so the reason I'm giving this away is because it too is a way too light for my skin tone like the color isn't even showing here like it looks like it's tan but it's it's so pale it's such a peachy peachy pale it just does not look good on my skin i just don't like colors that are that close to my skin tone but i was really really upset to have to give that away because i really love her liquid lipsticks but I know that I'm not gonna use it and it has to go to somebody who can. So now I have all but one of her liquid lipsticks and that's the stuff that like really gets to me because I'm sitting here like, oh, like I'm starting to sweat because like now it's like uneven, one piece of the collection is gone, but I gave away her party animal palette so I think I can give that one away too. I can do it. Um, this one is an Adesi high definition liquid lipstick. I never really knew if this was a lip gloss, lipstick, or what this was, um, but I never really used it. I got it from BoxyCharm. And then we just have some minis that I bought um, a whole, like, I think I bought, like, a whole thing from Ulta, and they were sent to me in, like, this, like, if you spend $75, you've got, like, a whole package of mini liquid, or mini lipsticks, and I just don't use them, like, ever. I'm actually going to keep this one, I lied. Um, but... Like, they're cute. I just, I really don't use them. Um, I don't have a need for mini anything at all. I know people love these for, like, traveling purposes, but for me, they're just a waste of space. Sorry. And then these guys are just shiny lip glosses. They all came in a set for Morphe. I did a whole review on this whole set and a whole shimmery eye set that came with it. But I like these. I think they're very cute. Again, they're really small. I don't like that. But it's, I just have so many. And I, I had to choose between these Morphe Shining Lip Glosses and the other Morphe Shining Lip Glosses that are almost the exact same, but they're in bigger tubes. So I picked the bigger tubes. So those gotta go. They're very cute. They're very nice to top onto lips. So I did keep, I think, one or two because they were colors that I didn't have, like a red, like a chromey shimmer red. And then I think another one was like a purple. But other than that, I have so many of these other ones. Like there is no need for me to have six of these clear shiny lip glosses, but I do. So let's get it together, right? So this is another Tardis lip paint, and this is in the shade Wannabe. It's very, very dark brown. And honestly, I think I'm gonna throw this one away because I, it's pretty old. She's, she's pretty old. So I'm gonna toss that one too. 
So the next thing is the Lux Velvet Lux or Lux Velvet Lips that ColourPop came out with and this is the Keep It Koi. Um, it's just a shade, a pink shade that I cannot use at all. Like I hate the color on my face. I hate it like 100%. Um, so I don't use it. I honestly don't really use them. It's like a lip stain. But I'm hoping that once we go back to work, I'm going to start trying to use a little bit more of my makeup or at least my lip items because they're easy to apply and be out the door. So, but I just don't like that color. And then I have a Steve Laurent um, lipstick, lip gloss, don't know. Yep, lip gloss. It's in the shade Posh and I just don't like the shade. So, gone. And then I have a vintage by Jessica Labinskind. I don't know, it's just a pink shimmer lip gloss. I don't use it. And then my last one, last item, last lippy, is the Patrick Star and MAC lip gloss. And this is in the shade Queen P. This was like my favorite lip gloss. Oh, it smells so good. For a very long time, but I just do not use it anymore. Like I just don't. And I think it can go somewhere where it will be loved. It's a very nice lip lip gloss. Like the more I talk about it, the more I want to put it back in my collection, but we're not doing that. We're not here for that. 2021, we're cleaning it out. Except for I, I did keep one item. I did, I did. Now that we're done that portion of it, I did want to just show you guys a few things. It's literally not a lot of things that I found while decluttering that I want to try to use within the next month. So I just wanted to share those with you because I'm just like, I went to throw them out and I'm like, oh, I actually really like that. So the one thing I have is the Zoeva Cafe palette. I received this in a boxy charm, maybe in a makeup mystery box. I don't remember. It's so pretty, but I literally have not touched it. I've had it for months, maybe six months, maybe seven, and I haven't touched it. So I really want to try to use this one because I think it's really, really pretty. So if I don't, it will be in the next declutter. And then the next thing is my Urban Decay Beached Eyeshadow Palette. And I love this palette. I have used this palette quite a bit, but I miss it. I don't know why I haven't used it. Like these colors just, oh, they do something to me, man. I'm telling you, I love these colors. And then the next things are lipsticks. The, this is the ultra matte lip in the Rouge and ColourPop. And this is Rouge. But I saw this color and I was just like, oh, Yes. So this is the only ColourPop lipstick, like matte lipstick in my collection anymore because I couldn't throw it away for some reason. I was just like, yes, I need to try it. And then we have a MAC lipstick and it is Ruby Woo. This is not a new one. This is a very, this one is a newer one, but this is a very old lipstick, a very tried and true lipstick. And when I pulled it out, it just took me back to like the beginning of the makeup days. And I was just like, I need to wear you. I need to wear you. I'm gonna wear her. I'm gonna figure it out. I'm gonna wear her. And then I have Skinny Dip and Rum Punch, which for some reason I thought were way too light for my skin tone. Because if you look, oh, because if you look at the bottom here, they look like super pale. But when I open them, like they're not that pale at all. So I'm really excited. I wanna try to use these also. I'm probably going to find a way to use these within the next week or two. And I think I might actually start doing that, like a shop my stash kind of thing. Um, and maybe once a month do that or once a week do that. And if I don't use the item or if I can't find a way to use the item, I'm going to get rid of the item. So if you guys want to see me do like a shop my stash kind of video, then go ahead and comment down below and let me know. If you also want to see like my collection of things, like me going through all of my eyeshadow palettes, me going through all my lip glosses, whatever it might be. If you guys want to start seeing videos like that to see what I have, what I am keeping, because I showed you what I'm getting rid of, but all the stuff that I have and the reasons that I'm keeping them, then go ahead and comment that down below. But other than that, guys, this is it. I have refreshed and started anew in 2021. I mean, it doesn't seem like I gave a lot away or I got rid of a lot, but I really did. Like that is probably the biggest declutter that I've done. And I do this not just on video. So I do this every couple of months. Um, so that's why you don't see humongous declutters because for the most part, I'm already giving it away. I just do it every couple of months. It's like every three months I go through. So 
I just don't always put it on camera. If you guys want to start seeing more declutters, then go ahead and let me know. But that is it for today's video, guys. Just make sure you hit that subscribe button at the bottom of this video. And just make sure you give this video a big thumbs up if you liked it. And I will see you on the next one. Bye!